Writer Faye Weldon, famous for books such as The Life and Loves of a She-Devil and Puffball, has died at the age of 91. Weldon's first novel was published back in 1967 and saw her shortlisted for the Booker and Whitbread Literature Prizes. Weldon grew up in New Zealand but was born in the UK. She published over 30 novels over her career. She also owned a notable contributions to television and journalism. The star's agent has released a family statement confirming the death. It said, It is with great sadness that we announce the death of Faye Weldon, CBE, author, essayist and playwright. She died peacefully this morning 4th of January 2023. Aunt McPartline's ex-wife Lisa Armstrong sparks concern with cryptic post about tears notable celebrities and organizations have paid their tributes to the author. The Booker Prizes wrote on Twitter, We are saddened to hear that the brilliant Faye Weldon has died. As well as being shortlisted for the Booker Prize in 1979, she was a judge in 1983 and delivered one of the most memorable speeches in Booker history. Our thoughts are with her family and friends. The public figure Reverend Richard Coles, co-presenter of Saturday Live, said, so sorry to see news of the death of hashtag Faye Weldon. I started out as an admirer of her fiction and I ended up taking her holy communion. She was amazing. May she rest in peace. Topless Liz Hurley, 57, wishes fans a happy Christmas in show-stopping festive portrait. Pictures, Weldon's career started as a copywriter in the advertising industry before she became a novelist and scriptwriter. She coined the famous phrase go to work on an egg as part of her work. One of her most notable novels was The Life and Loves of a She-Devil about a woman who seeks revenge after finding out her husband is having an affair with a novelist. Members of the public have shared their memories of reading the novel. One user on Twitter wrote, RIP hashtag Faye Weldon. I will never, ever forget watching the most excellent hashtag The Life and Loves of Ash Devil at BBC with my mom as a young teenager and being absolutely blown away by its utter brilliance and utterly bonkersness. My sister and I still talk about it to this day. However, it was Ms. Weldon's book Praxis which saw her nominated for the prestigious Booker Prize back in 1979. Talking about the book to The Guardian, she wrote, Praxis was the book that made my reputation, but it was only because I had gone through the original draft taking out all the jokes that anyone took it seriously. I didn't do that again with any other book, and I've since been considered rather frivolous in some circles. Her agent, Georgina Chappell, did not confirm where or how the essayist died although they confirmed she died peacefully. In 2020, the author broke a long period of silence to announce that she had been hospitalized and was divorcing her husband at the time, Nick Fox. She wrote at the time, Dear friends and colleagues, I've been out of touch for a long time, for which, my apologies. I have been hospitalized for much of the last year, first with a broken bone in my back and then with a stroke, therefore my silence. I am mostly recovered, encouraged by the thought of Andrew Marr, who had a stroke and is now back to normal. He has the advantage, of course, of comparative youthfulness. In the meanwhile, I have left my husband and am divorcing him. Considering everyone else's troubles this year, my own are mere hiccups. I am now safely with my family, 